We've had the worst luck with plumbing leaking over the years, culminating in two leaks in our current home in quick succession, one of which was pretty extensive, requiring major repairs. I finally decided we need to get ahead of any future problems with the help of technology, and bought the D-Link water leak sensor kit. In this video I go over the technology, setup and performance of the kit for detecting and alerting you to leaks in your home. The D-Link water leak sensor starter kit is probably the wisest technology purchase I've made. We've had four leaks in two different homes over the last few years, requiring fairly major renovations and repairs. However, the challenge with leaks in your plumbing is that they can continue unnoticed for some time behind closed doors or inside your walls, slowly soaking through surfaces silently. In one example we had, it required ripping out the entire interior corner of our house to remediate a black mould problem. It had been building up for some months, unseen by us thanks to poor drainage construction work on our roof. It also required sealing off the master bedroom and one corner of our living room for months while it was dried out with fans and later repaired. It's only after enough water has quietly accumulated to start dripping through a ceiling or down a wall that you'll be able to take action, which is often too late when it comes to avoiding expensive repairs. After our most recent leaky plumbing emergency, it was time to be proactive and try and get ahead of future potential issues with the help of technology. I've known about the various types of sensors for water leaks, but only now was seriously invested in purchasing some kind of technology that would hopefully give us enough warning to avoid any disasters in the future. After performing some research, I settled on the D-Link water leak sensor kit for several reasons. The first was the installation looked simple and didn't require any major effort where I'd have to run new power lines. The second was that it could send alerts to my phone via notifications in the event of an issue, even when I was away from home. Finally, the third reason was that while the main unit would sound an alarm if a leak was detected, the D-Link sensor was compatible with Google Assistant, enabling alerts to be broadcast to any connected smart speaker throughout our house, even outside the normal range of the sensor hub. In the box are the three main units, the master sensor that plugs into a main supply and two wireless sensors that connect remotely. You'll also find some adhesive clips to help you manage the cabling, plus an extender cable should your power outlet be further away from the floor than the average outlet. With the extension cable, the reach of the sensor is extended to 1.5 meters, which should be long enough in most homes. After an examination of the wireless units, I realized they use replaceable batteries, which makes perfect sense given the units need to be waterproof. Replacing the batteries will require unscrewing the cover. However, the listed battery life for the wireless pods is five years using a low power mode, so you won't have to think about replacing the batteries for some time. Plus, you can review the remaining battery life in the app. The features of the sensors include the basic hardware requirements. The main sensor features a built-in 100 decibel siren and strobing LED light. The siren is loud enough to catch your attention within a certain range. The wireless sensor pods use the AC-powered sensor as the hub, which D-Link says can give you coverage up to 8,000 square feet with enough additional pods. Talking which, the hub supports a total of 16 wireless pods, which should be enough for even the largest houses. The sensor uses Wi-Fi to stay connected for the purposes of sending alerts via the cloud to the official D-Link app and connecting to the wireless pods. Installation is extremely straightforward. The first step is to make sure you've downloaded and installed the official MyD-Link app. You'll need to sign up for an account unless you already have one. You'll use the app to scan the QR code in the water leak sensor manual, and then the app will connect via Bluetooth and then walk you through the bridging of your Wi-Fi network credentials to the sensor hub. One really nice touch is the two wireless pods are automatically detected and associated with the main hub. You're then free to place them around your home. Once connected, you'll have to run a firmware update. For my own placement, I chose my laundry room near my washing machine, as that was probably the most likely place we'd experience a leak. There was also a power outlet directly opposite. Then, using the clips, I ran the sensor cable along the bottom of the baseboard to ensure as much of the cable was touching the ground as possible. For the two wireless pods, I chose under the sink in the pantry, as that's where our garburetor is located, and is another common failure point for plumbing. The final spot was in the cupboard underneath our AC unit, where we had experienced our most recent leak due to a plugged drain line. I'd actually invested in a plastic drip tray too for added security. 
In the app, you can relabel the devices to match where you've placed them in your home, which helps with identifying potential alerts later. The app also has a contact feature. Not unlike the EasyViz CP4 camera, which I reviewed in a previous video, here you can add up to two contacts as a shortcut for quick contact during an emergency. The notification in the shade menu includes a shortcut to immediately call one of the contacts you designate. I could see this feature being useful when traveling away from home or if you're a landlord and need to contact a plumber quickly. As mentioned earlier, the D-Link water sensors can be integrated into your smart home via the Google Home app. To connect the app, you search for the My D-Link app and log in with your credentials. Now the three devices, the hub and the two pods, will appear at the bottom of your device menu in the Google Home app. From here, you can rename them, attribute them to your home, and then move them to your corresponding rooms. One step is to make sure the voice notifications are switched on for each device. Then, once you're connected, you'll receive an audible warning via your Google Home devices any time a leak is detected. Upstairs AC unit sensor detects a water leak. One thing I noticed on my Google Home Max is that there isn't a written message on the screen to go along with the audible warning. It would have been better if a message appears permanently until dismissed on the screen for added visibility. Overall, I'm pleased with the ease in which I was able to install the devices. The fact the kit comes in three pre-assembled pieces that don't require any special mounting is ideal. Also, I'm pleased with the performance after running my tests. The main hub and the wireless pods maintain a strong connection despite being quite far apart in my home. One interesting quirk is that the alarm speaker is housed in the hub and there are no similar speakers in the pods. The main alarm is loud enough to be heard across the house, but it would have been nice to have the added reassurance of the pods emitting a warning too. In terms of the smart features, the notifications on the app are near instantaneous, which is what you want from a leak sensor. You're not going to miss an alert when you're out of your home, providing you have your phone with you. One thing to note for this kit is that it's only suitable for accessible points of potential failure. Adding the sensor to our laundry room and placing the wireless pods under sinks or near AC units is very straightforward and a practical placement. I can also see the D-Link sensor being useful for basements where there is a potential for flooding when it's below the groundwater level. However, without clever and potentially time-consuming work, this isn't the solution for more difficult to reach points of failure, such as drainage or water pipes inside your walls. For example, in one of our most recent leaks, the incorrectly plumbed shower was dripping water into a wall cavity. There is no way to place a sensor in the correct position unless you're going to make your own holes in your walls. Even with those limitations in mind, I do recommend the D-Link Water Leak Sensor Kit if you're able to cover the main areas of your home easily. Thank you for watching and as always it would be great if you were to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more content on personal technology and the connected home.